Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video. Today I thought I'd take apart and show you how to clean a Nintendo 64 cartridge. A lot of cartridges now are more than 20 years old and over time they get grime and dirt inside in the metal contacts and when that happens they might not always want to play very well. So I want to take this apart and I'll show you how to clean it. So what you'll need is, I got these security bits here. You can buy these in a two-pack. I recommend getting the silver ones because they're of better quality than the black ones. Because they don't wear down as fast. But one's a smaller, one's larger. One I think the larger one's like 4.5 millimeters. And this one's like 3.5 or 3.8. I can't remember off the top of my head. But you're going to need the smaller of the two. You also need a Phillips screwdriver and if you would like a, another screwdriver to put the security bit inside. I only use these when I take the screws out. When I tighten them I hand tighten these screws so I don't strip them. But to get the cartridge apart there's two screws on the back and what you gotta do is you just take these off. This lifts up, and there's um, two little tabs on the bottom, on the where the circuit board is. You may have to lift up a little to, and unscrew to get the screws all the way out. Put the screws off to the side, and when you have it apart. If you have a lot of dirt right in here, you may want to clean it. This one looks fine, but having it apart is a great time to, to inspect the inside and, and clean it if you like. But you can uh, set the bottom part to the side. And then on the inside of the cartridge, there's two Phillips screws right here. And that's what we need a small Phillips head screwdriver for. Unscrew these. Set those screws to the side in a safe place. With those gone, now this metal shield will lift right up. You may have to wiggle it just a little bit. It'll come off. And you see, that's all there is to that. Inside you'll notice the circuit board, the, there's usually a capacitor, some resistors, the chips face up with the Nintendo logo. That is also how to check if you have a original cartridge, if it has the Nintendo logo on the inside on the cartridge. Okay, this will lift up. It only goes in one way, so we can put it back together can't put it back in the wrong way because there's these little tabs right here on the side. There's also this little black plastic piece. Um, as you see the numbers are on the top right there. So you can put it back together you want the circuit board or the uh, circuits facing up with the capacitor on the top. The black part goes over this connectors with the numbers facing on the top. So <clears throat> there is another uh, shield on the inside. You can take this out if you like. Check for dirt. Um, this one looks fine. It goes back in only one way. So you can set that to the side. We won't need it right now. So this is what we're focused on. Is this pin connector or the pins to the cartridge? I mean, they look pretty clean, but I'm going to show you how to get them really clean. You take a pink eraser, or you could use a white eraser. 
<clears throat> and just go back and forth over the pins like this. You can use a little bit of pressure. Just watch out that you don't damage like any of these components. I'll do half the top so I can show you a good before and after picture. Just go back and forth. Probably did it longer than you really have to. But now you can notice where I rubbed it. It looks a lot shinier than where I didn't. Which I rubbed from here over. And you can see a little bit of like the rubber residue from the eraser, especially like in the green area. Show you later how to remove that. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. Just rub the rest of the this side of the pins. Make sure you get all of them. Make sure you get around the edge right here because it's the harder part to get to, especially down here at the very bottom. That's about all you need unless it's really dirty. Um, if it was like had gunk on it and stuff, you may want to like, like any liquid or spit or anything from people that blew in it, got stuff in there on it, you want to remove that first with like a cotton swab and some alcohol, but you can tell that's a lot shinier than this side. But let's shine this side up too. Go through, rub it really good. Once again, you can see this side I just rubbed is a lot sh uh, shinier than the left side of it over here. But I'm gonna go ahead, shine up the whole, all the pins right here. That should about do it. Okay, now what I like to do is inspect it. Make sure I got all of it. It looks pretty good. Now I take an extra cloth I have right here. Just a microfiber cloth. And I have 70% isopropyl alcohol. You can use 90 would probably be the the best bet to use. But I just saturate a, the cloth a little bit and then I take the circuit board between get in between the cloth here and just kind of go back and forth and clean it. The cloth likes to grab these little the legs on the back, but just go over it the best you can with the alcohol. This will give it a really nice clean, a nice shine. It'll remove the rubber residue from the erasers. Any oil from your fingers if you accidentally touched it. So I think that was pretty good now we'll look at it and it really shines now the only thing left it looks like brand new but you can see where like the slight wear where the the pins slide into the actual connector on the Nintendo 64 only thing left to do now is to reassemble you want to grab your piece has a label on it with the shield 
on the bottom. We want to insert this um, black spacer. Goes like this. The writing on top centered. And this could be a little difficult if you're doing it for the first time. You can't put it in backwards or wrong. But there's some little tabs right here that this black piece that slides in between. You drop it in just like that. Now we need the the top of it. It's right here. You match up where the holes are. Okay, it's seated in there really good, and you just sl um, drop this over the top. And then you see these little tabs on top, you just press down on them, it clicks into place. Okay, you take the two Phillips screws that go in here, like to seat them to where they go. Now very carefully you want to screw them back in. You don't want to strip the plastic. So what I do is back it just a little bit like you're unscrewing it until it clicks. So I'll seat it down into the threads and then you just slowly tighten it until it stops. Now you do the same thing on the other side. Okay, when it stops, go back to this one, just give it a little, a little turn, give this one a little turn. Now, I'm uh, pretty satisfied with that, so I'll go ahead and I'll put the top on, get the part with the tabs there, it just drops right down, and then you can put the screws in here. Okay, for this part, I just use the bit itself. I back it up till it clicks. Slowly turn it to make sure you have it threaded right. It should just turn really good like that. Just hand tighten it so you don't strip it. Do it for the other screw. Make sure they're both hand tightened, but not over tightened. And when you're satisfied with it, there you go. You got a nice clean game. You can look inside. Got shiny contacts. So if you'd like, you can let it dry for a while. If you're really concerned, maybe a few hours. But my experience, the alcohol pretty much evaporates right away. So after like, you know, 5-10 minutes, I usually would play it. But I'll go ahead and I'll put it in my Nintendo 64. It should boot up right away. And then that way we'll know it works. Okay, so I got my Nintendo 64 set up. I got the game. It's the one we just cleaned. Put it in there. When you turn the power button on, it should just kick right on. Just like that. Now we got a nice clean game that should come on every time and not give us any trouble. That's how you clean your N64 game. A few weeks ago I was playing Rayman 2 on N64 
and the game it kept resetting on me after five ten minutes of gameplay I took it apart and I really cleaned those contacts and I put it back together and it worked so a lot of times problems could be fixed just by cleaning the contacts also you may want to clean the contacts of your N64 and I'll make another video soon and show you how to do that so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching have a great day